One day my father was taking me out of school. We were driving between the slums of Alexandria. I heard one of the ladies was saying, I would choose to lose my eyes to be in a car like that. I was shocked. From that day, I started to see the world in a new order. So it's a matter of choice, whether to be with the people and feel their pain, uh, or just to be uh, a kind of, um, to be in line with criminals who are stealing the people's bread. I started to be more active uh, when I was in university because I joined the Kifaya movement against the ruling of uh, Mubarak. There had been a president for more than 30 years and he's willing to give like uh, the authority and the rule to his son. Because of all of that situation of the Egyptian people, the revolution had erupted. In the year 2011, peaceful protesters are faced by gunshots from the police. Many people had been killed at that time. The Supreme Command of Armed Forces continued to use brutality, but they also started using law. So we have witnessed uh, military trials for civilians with thousands of people facing such a thing. I started to be part of other groups where you can work as a lawyer to defend civilians who are facing military trials. I'm part of a group trying to support legal aid, trying to challenge unconstitutional decisions in front of courts, trying to visit the political prisoners in jail and making their voice heard. And all of them are considered terrorists. Last time I was arrested, that was the fourth time for me in prison. I have seen the prison uh, overcrowded with, uh, with political prisoners. My last release was on July 2021. I went to court once again to represent all the people who I should be representing. And I continued like what I believe in and what I'm doing. I'm fighting for the Egypt that I want, the Egypt where there's democracy, Egypt where there is equality between Muslims and Christians, between women and men. The army is here to protect the people. The president should be knowing that he is in the service of the people, not a god above them, where all the people can enjoy the beauty of our country. We shouldn't surrender to any injustice all over the world. I believe that humans are great creatures and they deserve to live a happier life.